Well, hello and welcome guys. Welcome back to the channel Indie Traveler. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you subscribe. How open the event and universities in UK looks like. And uh, I'll show you around what stalls and what helps uh, can you get in open day event and we'll look into it. Yeah. Well, hello Charlie. So we want to know what's in it for the students. Like what, why, what is the importance of open day? So can you like please explain it? Yeah, definitely. So open day is an amazing opportunity to actually visit the campus and mm -hmm. um, kind of get the vibe for the campus, see if it's somewhere that you can kind of imagine yourself living and studying. Right. It's also a really great chance to obviously speak to academic staff about your course, mm -hmm. speak to current students as well. Obviously they're actually here um, studying, so they're the best people to kind of um, find out about more information about the course mm -hmm. and student life. And also just have a, a campus tour um, and look around all the facilities right. um, as well as a bit about Basque as well. Right. So what all stalls we've got in here? So we literally have everyone represented. So we have all the academic staff from all right. the subjects. Mm -hmm. um, we have the sport facilities, the mm -hmm. student unions. Um, we've got finance and scholarships. We've yeah. got admissions, yeah. student support. There's literally everyone here. All right. And uh, what about the student community or something like SRC? Do we, do we have that here right now? Yes, yeah, so the SRC are represented. Um, there's also lots of um, student societies and mm -hmm. stuff. And mm -hmm. really good opportunity to just like speak to them and kind of find out the different yeah. things that you can kind of join yeah. and be part of. Um, at university. I mean, if the students are confused, this is the best day to choose, yeah? 100% the best place yeah. to come. Cheers. Find out more about the university. Yeah. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something out of my nightmares, standing right there. But if I lay down Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cat Hello, hi um, So uh, I just want to ask you what is this about? Like I've, I'm going through this, uh, all the camps and everything So can you, can you just explain what is it about? Yeah, of course. So we're having our undergraduate open day today. Uh, so we've got lots of undergraduate potential students here who'll be looking to join us uh, next year probably. So they can come and have a look around the campus, uh, go to some talks, learn about the subjects that we teach here and learn about where they can stay and things like that, all about the university experience. So I mean, like, uh, so they'll get to know everything if like, you know, they, get, they have just a walk or something like, you know. I mean, it's just an open day, really. So quite often, a lot of our students will maybe be looking at a couple of different universities. They won't know exactly where they want to go. So it's just an opportunity to get a taste of what Glasgow is like and uh, what university life would be like here. Help them make that decision about where they're going to study their undergraduate. Are there any uh, like consultancies who like uh, guide them uh, like for the courses they want to choose or they opt for? Um, so we do have. Um, lots of uh, desks and things further up so people can go and chat to individual subjects and representatives from those subjects as well if they want to ask anything specific and and uh, lastly what what are you doing here in this talk i'm doing welcomes oh, is it? welcome so what, what have you got in here we've got bags we've got maps we've got pencils we've um, got prospectuses we're making a video scott get involved oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so all of this is for free for students yeah 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 all great. right cheers thank you all right and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. I got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh. Everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my mind
Well, hello, Thais. Uh, can you just tell me what is your stall about? So quantitative methods are the way of answering questions in all of the social sciences. Right. So if you ever wondered about how do most people in the UK think about Brexit, about immigration, about the cost of living crisis that we currently have, you could ask a survey. You could use quantitative methods right. to get a sense what the majority of people in the UK think. Right. Um, you could also go and analyze texts, whether these are Twitter posts right. or whether these are Facebook posts, right. and see what's the sentiment that people express when they talk about a politician, when they talk about social inequality, right. when they talk about things like racism. Right. And that's what quantitative methods allow you to do. Right. And uh, what are the skills required uh, to join the course or like to, if someone is coming for the course, what skills should uh, they possess? So the great thing about our pathway, which is called with quantitative methods, is right. that it's specifically designed mm -hmm. for someone to say, I'm interested in politics, yeah. I'm interested in sociology, right. I'm interested in social policy, right. but I don't know so much about the methods. Right. And we say, yes, we take you from where you are. Uh, yeah. We don't expect you to come with anything other than with a curiosity to say, I want to answer some yeah. questions and yeah. I want to answer that. I don't want to just read yeah, someone else's yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we'll take you and teach you some programming, right. some statistics. Yeah. Um, some ways of designing your right. research and answering questions so ultimately. In short, it's like if they have a burning desire to know something, then it's good for them. And yes. wh what will the outcome of the course? The outcome of the course will be a skill set mm -hmm. that both works in becoming a political scientist right. or sociologist right. or someone who actually does right. research in right. government or right. for a think tank. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't it doesn't mean that you need to only do politics, it gives you the skill sets to go right. and, for example, analyze um, marketing surveys, yeah. um, to do the programming necessary for that, right. but also to be able to get the right graphs, to get the right analytical method models right. to do right. so. All right, thank you, and th 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 You're welcome. Sorry. Cheers. Well, hello, Mela. Can you just tell me what the course is about? Hi, so this is economic and social history. So this is a modern history courses that right. we offer at the University of Glasgow. Right. Uh, and it's looking from the 18th century up to the 21st century. Mm -hmm. And we are really about like a global perspectives and looking at, for example, industrialization, globalization, uh, but also looking at energy development, yeah. uh, social development, uh, class relationship, gender history. Right. Uh, so it's quite a diverse uh, course uh, that you take from undergrad all the way to a PhD right. and you can look at different there's also aspect of medical history mm -hmm. uh, business history so if you're interested in finance right. uh, so it's all about that and like really from both a global but also more British and Scottish perspective so right. whichever it's quite a broad and diverse course mm -hmm. and uh, what prerequisites uh, students should have in order to take the course most of our students have like uh, taken history courses during right. their secondary education mm -hmm. or any social sciences right. uh, education. So like if they've done some sociology, if they've done also like uh, ancient history, religious studies, right. uh, it's quite like like there's not a specific requirements to enter. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're into social sciences or humanities, you will be able to come and take the course. Right. And what will be the outcome of the course like? The outcome of the course is like most of the time we are really built on transferable skills. Mm -hmm. So at the end you have like a better understanding of like critical thinking yeah. of being able to like uh, to take notes of writing reports mm -hmm. of like doing research. Right. So even if you don't want to continue within academia, yeah. a lot of our students like uh, end up, for example, working for the government mm -hmm. and like being able to do reports and like research uh, right. for government uh, reasons. So it's quite like, again, yeah. quite diverse and help, like mm -hmm different types of uh, outcomes. Yeah, for it. Cheers, thank you. Silhouettes of you are like a tie Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I could feel the sweat inside my palms